Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So anyway, I hope that everyone is having a great week, and if you are part of this uh, Wellness Wednesday, that you are making steps to achieve every one of your goals, and it's just a really great way for us to kind of stay in touch and to motivate each other, and even though I have been, I've been slacking, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's hard sometimes juggling life and what you want to do for your goals and and work and you still got things to do at home and whatever so juggling things around it's sometimes it's not as easy as you would think it would be but but you do what you you have to do right and little by little we get there so I'm actually going to have a sip of coffee because I'm falling asleep it's about 11 o'clock and I think I worked till the, I worked till a little after 10 tonight, so it was a quick night, and I thought I'm just gonna kind of come on and do this. But by the time I sat down to eat and then uh, take it, yeah. So and we're gonna have a sip of coffee. You don't want to hear my story. Oh yeah, that's why we had to talk about me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, so I got some of my smart sips, my decaf. Um, this one is caramel brulee latte. So so good. Hmm, really good. But anyway, so um, like I said, I haven't. Um, I've been working a lot of hours lately. So um, yeah, I've been working till 11, 12, just about every night. And um, yeah, so coming home and trying to decide, uh, can I do a DVD? No. Well, should I go? Can I go on YouTube and watch some videos? Well, I can watch them, but I'm not coherent enough to uh, comment. So it kind of goes out the wind. And then it's like reading. Yeah, I don't feel like reading. So yeah, it hasn't been a great month for me doing my wellness Wednesdays. And then even on Wednesdays, if I am home, sometimes I don't even, like, you know, make a video or something for wellness Wednesdays and face mask Mondays because I would rather try to watch some videos and catch up like that. But I decided I've been slacking, so I wanted to come back on. Plus I had some good news for myself. Yeah. So you're going to think like this is really like no big deal to most people, but I went out in my own neighborhood and I went for a walk all by myself so that was that was pretty good and um it really did feel good to get out and you know and i know for a lot of people that's like something you do every day or something you take for granted that you can just go out and walk but for me it, it's hard um you know you sometimes you um well you know i i do have panic attacks and people coming up and talking to me that I don't know and even sometimes people that I know just kind of freak me out especially when they get like right in my personal space it kind of really freaks me out and then other times it doesn't bother me too much I think maybe that depends on my frame of mind or, or whatever but um and then to, to realize that as old as I am like I'm in my mid 60s and I've never gone for a walk before in my life by myself because you know when you grow up you've got your brothers and your sisters or your, your mom and your dad or you get a little older you get your friends that you walk to school with or to walk to the park and things like that and and then you get married and you have children and so you're out walking with them in their carriages and their strollers and walking them to school and walking them to their friend's house and of course you stay sitting because you're you're there you sit and get talk, talk with the moms too and then later on you know you get puppies and you take your puppies for a walk and the girls get older and so we go on fitness walks and walks on the beach together and collect sea glass and you know and then I walk in you know with Rick and and then later you know pushing him in his wheelchair and until we we got a motorized wheelchair that was pretty cool so yeah so walking with him and the puppies and then all of a sudden it's like I can't do this by myself I can't go out and face people and go for a walk by myself but I did on Sunday I was so proud so happy and um, I really had to kind of push myself to go out I was kind of like oh it's cold I don't want to go out it's cold and you know Saturday was like in the mid 80s and hot and sticky and humid and Sunday was cool and windy and it's like oh it's kind of crappy and I don't want to go out suppose it rains and then I said well if it rains you turn around and go back or you put your hood on who you know so I kind of forced myself to do it and and I did it I went longer than I thought I would go for my walk so I was pretty impressed with myself so that's part of my wellness Wednesdays and I guess I didn't really think about it but I, I guess that was kind of like my mental kind of thing it's just trying to get through some barriers that I have and and I'm sure little by little 
we all get to where we need to be. Sometimes we just need to push ourselves. Sometimes we need other people to push us along and to help motivate us. And that is what is so great about this Wellness Wednesday thing. So I'm looking forward to trying to get back into it a little bit. So I didn't do much exercising, um, obviously, because I worked till 11, 12, but I did still do my under desk elliptical at work and just the regular walking. I did finish this book this month, and um, yeah, so I really enjoyed this. This was the uh, Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany. I really did enjoy this book and talking about the travels to Italy, and it went back and forth between her, this lady's in her 80s and she's dying and she's trying to find the love of her, her life um, that she left in, in Italy and how they led separate lives and it's just, oh my god, it was, it's a good book. So did that. I got to work a little bit my planner, which I really enjoyed because I haven't been doing this because I had just been too tired, but I actually got to finish another week, so I'm excited that I did that. So I'll show you week I did here and of course it's kind of like back in time for April here and I've even got like prints down here for snowing in April and it actually did snow that week so it was I think his anniversary week so and that just helps keep me keep track of my ellipt elliptical steps and any uh, walking steps that I do I think I did the treadmill one day so I put a little treadmill sticker right there so it just, it just kind of helps keep me accountable, helps me relax, just kind of pick out some pretty colors and stickers that I like. And um, yeah, so that's part of my Wellness Wednesday. And um, yeah, so I think that's about it. I still have some boxes back here that I'm working on. So I, I keep forgetting that I've got my Glam Bag X. And then I watch somebody's video and say, oh yeah, I've got, I've got a Glam Bag X, I gotta do it. And then I, I forget about it. And then I watch another one. Oh yeah, I've got a Glam Bag X, I gotta do mine. So. Maybe I will do this after just so I'll, I'll stop saying that to myself. I got my May whip box here to do, but I know that my June one's probably going to be shipping soon. So if I don't get around to it, maybe I will just do them together. I got a Miss Ellie outfit that because I had some more people that used uh, my link. Thank you so much for that. That gave me $10 off that I was able to buy another additional outfit for $10 off. So instead of the $44.95, it was $34.95 and free shipping. So I got that too unbox i think that's it behind me yeah so i'm pretty much caught up with my boxes so i did hear my glossy box um was delayed but it's uh going to be shipping it was dispatched or something so i'll probably see that and my um may outfit of the month from miss ellie shipped yesterday so i should be seeing that sometime next week and i got my first yoga box I love this already. I just have yoga, yoga club. So anyway, I got a beautiful, beautiful Cabernet Red set. Love it. So it's so pretty. Love that color. And yeah, so on their side, it's kind of like Stitch Fix where um, it took me a while to find it, but I heard somebody else mention it. But you can click on different things that you like and it just goes next. And if you don't like it, they want to know why you don't like it and things like that. So I've done that for like two days in a row. So I think that that helps them maybe curate your next box looking so good so I'm waiting for this one so this um yeah so I'm going to be getting this one monthly for a while you can't change it so that you can get it like every month every two months or every three months so that's a really nice option to have and the referral program oh my god it's amazing and I have to thank Carolyn um, from Carolyn and her flow she already used my link so my next box is always this is like $79 I use somebody's link and if you use my link you'll get it for $59 your first set but because someone used my link Carolyn my my boxes go down $10 a month for the rest of the time I own this so so that's pretty cool so yeah looking forward to my next one already and I want to try to insert part of my walk in here just to kind of show you a little bit of maybe my neighborhood and um, that I took a little walk outside to show you the backyard and things. So I'm going to try to put that in here too. So I just want to thank everyone again for joining me. You guys are awesome and amazing. I love you all and just thank you so much for your support. Um, yeah, I would not even be able to sit here and be as comfortable as I am talking to you with this camera if it wasn't for the love and support of all of you. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope you all go out. Have an amazing week. If you are participating in the Wellness Wednesday, good luck, everyone. I am here to support you in any way that I can. And yeah, you guys are amazing. Thanks, everyone.
talk to you soon. Bye-bye. And look, everyone, I am being bold. I am going for a walk in my neighborhood. So first, I'm just going to go through the park that's behind the house, and then there's some hills to go up, so we'll see how we do in the air. I'm going to try to post this as part of my Wellness Wednesday. So it's actually kind of cool. Yesterday was like 85 and hot, sticky, and humid. Today we're in low 60s. It's a little windy. Very cool. There's a little uh, place right there that you can sit and people bring books. Let's see if I can zoom in. So that might be what I can do with some of my leftover books after I read them, just put them in there. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. So, back to my walk across. I have my sunglasses on, so I'm not sure how much of this is recording. But anyway, it's a nice little winding path through the park. I can see there's probably some people over at the playground. A lot of cars there. Looks like maybe a baseball game over in the field there. So I will try to put this on in a little bit. Alrighty, so I'm still on the path going through. I did go, they have a baseball game going on. So a lot of people up there and on the bleachers and in the chairs. And my house is someplace up there on the other side of those trees. This is a it's like the rock water and in the winter on the freezes and all the kids go down here and go skating on this. There's some houses but not mine. And anyway, I am gonna get back on the hill. I'm gonna put my radio back on, I heart radio, and um yeah, so I hope to see you on Wednesday. Take care everyone. Alrighty, so I went for my walk. And right now it's pretty chilly. I actually sat in the house for a little bit and I thought I would come back out and show you a little bit of the backyard now that it's kind of filling in. So if you remember what this looked like a few months ago, it was like a winter wonderland. So the woods in back of the house, there's actually walking past that. Uh, my husband had worked with um, the neighborhood we're in and he went out with his four-wheeler and they cut down trees so they made walking paths that go all the way through to the street and different areas. So it's it's nice back there. Um, yeah, I'm just afraid of the ticks so I don't go back there too much anymore. And um, got the wetlands behind the house over here. This is really overgrown. Rich used to really take great care of this and uh, we have this arbor here and he did put in a walking path down there and I need to come out and try to get weed whacking again but it was just really cool back there of course we got trees now that are blocking it but it goes back to um, right after that tall grass maybe you can see a little bit of some water I'm not sure if I'll be right there so that was where I was when I was walking um, earlier and I came across that water that the kids go skating on in the winter. We had grown some, tried to grow some grapes at one time so a lot of the vines remained but we never got any grapes. And I uh, had some black walnut tree that uh, just got just a little bit left. It actually fell over and uh, hit the deck and that's the one I was trying to jump on when my neighbor came over and finished cutting it down for me. But I like that black walnut tree and just some other trees. Um, there's a big one down there that we actually hung up the swing. We had an old um, wooden, wooden like canopy type swing. And when the wood fell apart, we tied the, uh, the swing back down to the tree and we used to go back there and sit on that getting kind of dark so this is that tree that I was telling you about that got struck by lightning so it was like a big wide trunk and um, when the lightning hit it it went into three different directions so part of the tree still grows straight up parts at an angle and then another part is totally 
horizontal, but it's still growing. And pretty soon this whole area is going to have those white flowers on it. So it's just amazing that it got struck by lightning and kind of fell apart, but it's still growing. We tried to tie it up for a while. A little bit of a lilac tree over there. I still got that ramp um, that I used to put on the front or the back of the truck so I could have this motorized wheelchair on it. Yeah, so this is the backyard in the spring. And I just love that it's it, that it is so private back here that even though I'm in a neighborhood, um, you know, I'm lucky enough that our lot just kind of backs up to the wetlands and the woods. Neighbor over there on that side does um, actually put in a basketball court, even though there's a nice basketball court down in that park. But it's just really nice to come out and sit back here and enjoy nature.